So I'm gonna go through staff spins five through seven now. So I wanna slide my left foot back just a little bit and I wanna point the staff forward on my hip. Now this is gonna be my front and then this is gonna be my back. So I wanna start by slowly turning towards my back, come all the way around and strike to the front. Now my legs are in a dragon stance right now. I wanna unwind the same way I came, but I wanna to continue to strike back. Same thing, I wanna unwind, strike the front, unwind and strike the back. Just like that. Now, I'm gonna change directions. So this is the same spin, but I'm just gonna show it from a new angle. So now this is gonna be my front and this is gonna be my back. Same thing, I want the staff on my hip. I'm gonna slide back. I'm gonna start turning slowly and hit my front. Then I'm gonna unwind all the way and hit the back, just like that. Now there's two important parts in this uh, spin. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure the staff is rolling across my hip. It has to touch my body and has to roll across for me to be doing it correctly, just like that. Roll it across. Practice this a few times before you do the spin. Now the second thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure I just get into a little baby horse stance. So if I'm facing that, if this is my front, I just wanna get into a little comfortable stance. I don't want my foot too far back. I want it nice and close. I wanna start turning. I wanna face that way. Unwind, turn, face the other way. So practice these two things before you do staff spin number five and they should help you along the way. Now for staff spin number six, I'm gonna start it on my right hip. Now six and seven are very similar. So the way you tell them apart is you wanna start on your right hip for number six and on your left hip for number seven. So for number six, I'm on my right hip. I wanna start, I wanna bring the top of my staff across my body and over my head. And I wanna spin above my head, just like I'm doing number one. My hands should be in the same position. I can even bring it down and do number one. That's how fluid that transition should be. Now for number seven, I'm gonna bring it down to my left hip and I'm gonna bring it across and spin the other way. The way you can tell that you're doing six and seven correctly is if you do them in opposite directions. And those are staffs in five through seven.